Hi, my name is Grace, and I'm here to teach you how to play Occident by Joanna Newsom. The song is really just two sections, so I'm just going to teach you how to play those two sections, and then also how I do the instrumental part. But beyond that, I'm going to leave it up to you to add those little touches, dynamics, and emotional moments, you know? All right, so the song really has two sections. We'll call them A and B. The A section is the one that's like, Mercy me, the night is long. That normally happens in a set of two, except the last one, which is just one, because half of it is instrumental. And then the B section is the one that goes, Long life, show your face, slow heart, curb your taste. And that also usually happens two times, except the one that goes, I'll wait for you alongside the ocean. That happens four times. So the chords in this song are A minor, E minor, F, C, E flat, B flat, D minor, G. I think that's all of them. <laughs> it's quite a few. The chord progression in the A part is A minor, E minor, F, C. a different chord progression for every single line. It's kind of a lot. And the shapes I use for those are mostly root position A minor, A, C, E, first inversion E minor, G, B, E, first inversion F, A, C, F, second inversion C, G, C, E, and then back to the A minor, F. We know those two. I would probably use this E flat. G, B flat, E flat, root position B flat, B flat, D, F, back to the F, D minor, just jump down to this first inversion, F, A, D, G, root position, G, B, D, E flat, E flat, G, B, for the second time. This C, I would use this one instead of this one, just based on the progression. E, G, C, and then G, again root position, F and root position this time. And sometimes I'll just use two of those notes, something like that. And then a bass line, just playing the root notes, so like... the basic thing. Then you can start to get interesting with some rhythms, so like...
was just an example of some stuff you could do to change up the rhythm. Mostly that was just me breaking up the chord into different arpeggios. Something like that. And playing the right and left hand out of time. So like... Something like that. And then adding the arpeggio type thing. bass note in more than one octave. In between that C and A minor, it's nice to add that B, which she does in there, just to walk between the two. That's basically the A part. Now let me go ahead and teach you the B part. The progression is a bit more straightforward in this one. It's just A minor. F, G, C, and then the second line, E minor, A minor, B flat, F. So like, long life, show your face, slow heart, curb your taste. And we can use a lot of the same shapes. We could start with like, Root position A minor, first inversion F, root position G, second inversion C. First inversion E minor, root position A minor, root position B flat, first inversion F. So A C E, A C F, G B D, G C E, G B E, A C E, B flat D F. A, C, F, something like that. And then it's all about the bass line. It's a really similar vibe to the A part. It's just a different set of chords. The thing that really makes this song is just adding dynamic changes throughout it. So like a lot of the time the B part gets softer and the A parts come in really loud, for instance, and just kind of inserting some emotion behind the lyrics. The last thing I wanna show you is just how I play the instrumental part. I'm not gonna explain it much, but I'm just gonna play the melody itself once and then I'm gonna play it how I add the chord and I don't really do much actual chording I just kind of like play the bass line so that you get the idea of the chord so the melody is can add a little bit of chording stuff in here. So that's just the eight part chords with playing the melody instead of singing lyrics over it. Anyway, I think that's all you're gonna need. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Come back for more tutorials, originals, and covers. Bye.